spilling over at the UN. The Council affirms that any unilateral action related to the oil sector is detrimental to the security, stability and prosperity of both states. While negotiations continue under the stewardship of former President Thabo Mbeki in Ethiopia, no lack of posturing from the opposing sides in New York. We are exploring other options. We have signed a memorandum of understanding with Kenya and we have also signed MOU with the government of Ethiopia. Uh, all these agreements we had as an alternative way of, of uh, building a different five lines. The oil which they enjoy now, it is us who made it. The stoppage or blockage of oil uh, uh, will never affect North Sudan. The two countries separated with a number of issues unresolved. It would appear that those chickens are coming back to roost. The oil pipelines remain shut down in South Sudan, no small matter for a country that depends on oil for 95% of its revenue. So all eyes now shift to the AU high-level panel negotiations currently underway in Addis Ababa, through which both parties have agreed, at the very least, to negotiate. Sherwin Briceby's SABC News, New York.